in this video, I want to show you a very simple um, way to make curtains, but with a little bit of interest in what you're doing. This is a square of my um, other dog, Coco Bean. Um, I'm going to do a similar block print of my current dog, Scout. Um, but it's been seven months since I lost her, and um, I still miss her terribly, and don't want to just move on to the next dog and forget her. And um, this has prompted me to uh, come up with, um, I like privacy in my house. I have big open windows and a cathedral ceiling, and I've taken down my conventional Cape Cod uh, curtains, and I've been using um, lower half panels on the windows, which lets the light in through the top, but blocks anybody from seeing in with just the bottom half of the window covered. Um, so I didn't, uh, this was going to be a quilt, and it was going to be a wall quilt, and then I, I didn't want to do that because she's not here anymore and she wouldn't be using the quilt. So I cut it down to about an 8 inch square with her image in the front. Now um, she helped me do a lot of sewing and I'm using, this is going to be a three layer uh, little quilt. Um, that's a bandana um, that she had had. That's the batting and um, I believe these are four and a half inches. They might be five. That's the backing. So you take roughly a six inch image area on an eight inch piece of muslin, either a hanky or a bandana for the um, batting. Now that's going to be somewhat visible um, through the muslin, but it adds interest to it and depth. So, um, if you don't block print, you can pick a, a fabric you like and put like a pinwheel block or something in the, in the center. But I'm going to be using uh, my artwork and images. So, the only machine you're going to need for this is a handy stitch. And they will end up being uh, rag type curtains. This is going to be a window pane quilt. All of my animals have loved looking out the window, and Coco used to stand on the couch and watch what was going on outside, and then I had a big wicker sewing chair, and she absolutely loved that one. Um, and the dog Scout now just loves to watch outside, even if he's just watching squirrels. So um, the two dogs are going to get their pictures um, on a square. So you need four backing squares. Um, I would go with uh, four and a half inches. And with the handy stitch, you simply piece two together like that, piece the other two together, and then piece the two rows together once you have that done. So you end up with a four patch on the back any kind of hanky or bandana uh, batting, and then a muslin square of 8 inches. And what you're going to do first, after you have this pieced, through all three layers, you're going to use the handy stitch, which is also a baster, um, and go around all three layers. Flatten it out really well, pin it in place, but instead of leaving this these open until you get there, um, go ahead and baste around it so that you have a square. Then, you, when you've done that, you can put an, embro an embroidery hoop here. And the reason I say to baste it together first is because a chain stitch machine, like the handy stitch, you can pull that out. Um, it's a small piece, so you're not going to really be worried about a lot of wrinkles or shifting. Um, but then you can put an embroidery hoop on here and either quilt the image or in my case what I might do is just go over the outline with chain stitch or quilting 
in floss. So you've got some hand sewing, some simple piecing, some basting, um, and what you're going to end up with, once you get the center image done, you can decide um, how you want to finish uh, quilting the panel if you want to quilt it. Now the handy stitch will only go in three inches deep, which is about like that, but a very simple way to quilt it would be in a false log cabin and just continue to go around the edges in a square until you're right around your center image. And it's framing a window pane size quilt. So my windows, uh, the top half has uh, six window panes, the bottom half has six window panes. So I can do six of these and then rag quilt sew them together still with the handy stitch because all of these layers are so thin and um, you have a six image panel curtain that will end up being um, about 23 probably or maybe 22 inches uh, square. Um, so it'll sit in the middle of your window. The um, it, it won't go to the exact edges of the window, but if you want, you can then add sashing at the furthest edge out just by piecing more squares together and put a further frame around the six images. Now, I happen to be an artist, and so my dog is prompting me, even though I've lost her, to do things new that are fun, easy, and practical. And this is one of my drawings. This is a rhododendron um, that we've had in the yard, and you know, I, I, my lease is up for renewal again. And if I have to leave, I've always wanted to take the rhododendron with me, but it's about eight feet tall, so obviously I can't do that. So I've been drawing it. This is copper point with colored pencil over it. Now, it's not as detailed as one of my colored pencil on paper drawings because the surface is marble dust and rabbit skin glue on wood. Um, now, I, I have like 30 of these in all different subjects, um, turtles, um, shells from the beach, whales, and each one of those I can color in um, just the shape and the form of the drawing, they're all in metal point. And then I take a piece of tracing paper, trace the main shapes, put graphite on the back of the tracing paper, transfer the image to muslin, and I've got a garden on my windows. Or I've got a fish tank on my windows, you know, I've got a, a Kemp's Ridley turtle, I've got, um, I have several whales, um, pears, um, orchids. You can pick and choose. Now, if you're not an artist, you buy a kid's coloring book. And by the way, I have to mention, this is color, uh, colored pencils right now. Uh, personally, I would avoid adult coloring books because what they do is make the image intense and it's not relaxing. Get a kid's coloring book because coloring for relaxing should be big, simple shapes. And anyway, um, you can take a coloring book image and do the same thing. Like Mickey Mouse, you want to make a Mickey Mouse window panel uh, for someone's room? You trace Mickey, you put graphite on the back, you transfer it to muslin, you stitch it, and you've got Mickey window panel. Copyright is owned by Disney or whoever puts out the coloring book, but if you're using it for your own home use, I don't think anybody's going to come after you with a lawsuit. Um, now, after you've done that, and the other step I can do here is use crayons and color it in. And then um, when you do that, 
you want to press it from the wrong side with um, your finished item like this, only the other uh, piecing would be on the back, brown paper, and um, you press it, and that sets the color from the crayons. You also want to protect your ironing board with another piece of brown paper. So we've got Crayola colored pencils are uh, $20 for like 100 I think, or even less than that, and Crayola crayons. And you don't have to be an artist, and you can grace your windows with a little bit of a different um, idea than just conventional Cape Cod panels or valances. You could take uh, four rhododendrons and put them across the top, or three, and then the sashing for a valance. And very easy to do, and all of it is with inexpensive um, handy stitch because it will go through these layers Crayola colored pencils, uh, graphite pencil, tracing paper, and uh, Crayola crayons. So, a wonderful way to create your own fabric, your own design, your own look in each room of your house. And my window panes, they're probably closer to nine inches if you go to the um, metal stripping that's in the middle of the glass. Um, so this will probably end up with sashing. And then, like I said, all you have to do, you can use scrap fabrics. I have a lot of blues uh, from old sheets, and depending on the condition of the fabric, you can cut out squares and literally put your sheets on the windows in a very pretty way that you can then, if you want, hand quilt the whole thing. So a little bit of ingenuity, and again, this, this is a kitchen sewing table where the only machine you need is a handy stitch. And if you have children, you've already got the crayons, the tracing paper, and probably the colored pencils in the house. And um, all you would need, you could do all of the piecing with scrap fabrics. I'm in the middle of downsizing. I just threw out uh, two pairs of pants that um, I love the pants. I didn't want to get rid of them, but I cut off the legs, and I can now use that fabric. And this is what people did in the Depression. When they couldn't repair the clothes anymore, they cut them up for quilts. So um, you can do that with your old clothes, and um, if you don't want to donate them, and you can make curtains very easily with only having a handy stitch or a handheld stitcher. You can also do the whole thing by hand. Window pane curtains. I do want to add just a couple of things that I had forgotten. To make your sashing, cut the same size square that you use for the backing, and then simply fold them in half and stitch, well, First, if you need five of these in a row, you stitch them together this way, then fold the strip in half. And because this is going to be, uh, when you sew the different squares together, it's going to be a rag-type quill. And you're, you're just going to sew this together, and on one, either the back or the front, you're going to have uh, frilly seams, which, so pinking shears are good to cut down on the bulk of the seams. But to make the sashing, so you put as many squares together as you need, and then just fold it in half, press it, and attach it the same way that you sewed the squares together. Like that. Now the other thing is, um, at the top of the panel, you want to take embroidery floss or yarn or something and just make two loops that attach to the top of your quilt panel, three if you have wider windows, and they hang on the windows with suction cups. That's my cane that keeps falling over. Um, 
it's really going to be a wonderful way to still be sewing and quilting and being productive and putting your own images or your own stitching if you do a, a different kind of block up on the window and feeling better about yourself. Look at what I did. Isn't that pretty? Oh yeah, I remember that flower. It's all positive.